Hello dear listeners. Welcome you all to the 21st episode of Divine Margavi series. Tripave Tales on Veil through Art and Music. Presented to you by me Shri Vidya Lakshmi Narayanan. Guru always teaches equality. Reaches equality and he himself follows equality. He looks at everyone with the same vision, gives everyone the same knowledge, treat everyone equally. The one who gives such education is the true guru. First, let's listen to the recital of this Tirupave in Nadanama Kriya Raham Misra Chapu Thalam. Then, you will listen to the explanation for this passage. ye chakal ga ye dir pange me dani pa ye chakal ga ye dir pange me dani pa ma cha de pa What is this phrase that you're listening to in the background? The raga. That is in Nadanama Kriya, right? But isn't that song sort of familiar to you all? Yes. A famous kriti of Tyagaraja, Karuna Jalate Dasharate, and similarly we have some other famous compositions like Bojram Seyavarangal, and also in Bajagovinda, Bahavad Gita, Kinchita Gita. So. that part is in the very same ragam so i'm telling all these references for you to know that all these krutis all these songs are in the same ragam nadanamakriya so nadanamakriya is nothing but maya madagode sang 
in the Madhyama Shruti. Okay, let's now listen to the explanation for this pasram. Etra kanangal idir pungi midalipa maachade paalchoriyum vallal perum pasukkal. So all of us know that Krishna is born in the Yadava clan and he is a cowboy. And he possesses lot of cows and these cows are very healthy, wealthy cows giving lots and lots of milk. So how does Andar actually describe this? You know, the cow is giving a lot of milk, plenty of milk such that, you know, it cannot be contained in all the vessels. Even if all the vessels in the Gokulam is brought, no, that much of milk cannot be contained in those vessels. So to, to, to emphasize on the fact that there is plenty of milk that is given by the cows. So she says that we vallal perum pasukkat. And this can be interpreted in a different way also. So the cows are symbolic to the Guru. The milk is the knowledge of the jnana that he gives and vessels are the shishyas. But one thing that we have to note here is that is all the vessels of the same size and volume? Definitely not. Even if you see in our kitchen, are all the vessels of the same you know, size and volume that it can hold? Not, right? So the same thing is applicable here as well. So to bring in that fact, and are, you know, interestingly, uh, uh, puts this word Yetra Kalangal Yadirpongi Midadipa Matra De Palsuriyu Madlal Perum Pasukkal Yetra Kalangal Right? Yetra Kalangal So the, uh, she's referring to the, the Patram if I have to say in Tamil the vessels So Shishyas you know generally each one will have different capabilities to absorb things from the Guru so their own intelligence can be different their skill sets can be different or how much interest they have that is also different so it, it can be equal to like you know uh, uh, a tumbler it can be a small tumbler or it can be a big lorry or a big tank so whatever you bring in to fill fill up right so the size can be different supposing if a if a student just brings in a spoon to gather the knowledge from the guru you know for just for your understanding i'm saying that way so if he just brings a spoon he can you know grab that much of knowledge only from the guru supposing if he brings in a big lorry to fill in all the knowledge from the guru and he takes that much amount so it is the capability of uh, the student or the sishya definitely and the guru gives things you know i mean his knowledge he dissipates that equally to all the students so he does not see any disparity and for vallal perum pasukkal you know what sort of cows were there it, it uh, the cows uh, were not that of you know uh, not like that which was given by vishravas from vishravas uh, if you see in katopanishad uh, we see the story of vishravas no no donating old barren blind lame cows you know which natiketas uh, actually questions him why you're giving such uh, cows as arms to people which is not good right so he uh, the vallal param pasukar the, the the cows were not in such state but how were the cows you know they were like the cow, uh, they were like the ones that were that was donated by rama you know while he was uh, uh, leaving ayodhya for his exile uh, he gave the wealthy cows that he healthy wealthy cows that he possessed to trijatan okay so the cows were that healthy so rama avataram and now in krishna avataram the same thing is highlighted so that is one interesting thing that we can note here archa padaitan magane so one you know who manages these cows so now uh, andar you know highlights the the administrating quality of uh, krishna so archa padaitan magane magane you are the son of nanda gopala arivurai going on to the next line utra mudayai periyai ulaginil totramai nindra sudare tuilarai utra mudayai utra mudayai means uh, one who has great valor and he is an able administrator periyai right? no, andal uh, you know is fixated in, in in the sense that she could not find a word that can you know describe krishna no, how much ever i describe i'm not getting convinced i'm not getting happy you know uh, what word is really apt to write to describe you in full term full terms so she is not getting that so she says periyai no, one who is with that tejas and even the sun gets dazzled you know when krishna stands in front of him even the vedas uh, cannot describe him in the full detail so uh, he he can never be put into you know few words or 
something that could be counted so he is unfathomable uh, so we can say that way periyai uraginil totramai nendra sudare and so this also uh, refers to uh, we can say the kurukshetra battlefield where krishna gives uh, the the upadesham to arjuna right so how was he standing so he was standing tall and strong and he was looking like a fire of course he promised he took the oath that he would not take up the weapons and participate in the battlefield of course he helped uh, arjuna uh, you know to be his uh, sarathi to do sarathyam for him uh, so, and you did the bhagavad gita bodhana and you gave that to the world so you you stood as a fire ulaginil totramai indra sudare thilai why don't you not get up so if you see in the previous pasunams uh the the last section if you see andar went on to uh you know wake up the relatives of uh, lord krishna and also went on to plead and uh, seek permission from um, napinai and pleaded her to allow her uh, allow andar and her toris to get close to krishna and now andar felt okay i have approached so many people now it's no high time that i approach directly to krishna so that is the newer section that we are seeing from today so from 21 to 25 the pasurans are we can say the tripali elchi of the uh, lord uh, lord himself and how does she end this pasuram maatrar unak vali tholaindun vaasarkan aatchade vandu un adipaniyuma pole potriyam vandu pugandelor empavai so maatrar i mean those who consider you you as their enemy they lose all their might when they stand in front of you and they surrender at your lotus feet maatrar unak vali tholaindun they lose their might they lose their valor they lose their strength உன் வாசர்கன் ஆற்றாது வந்து உன் அடிப்பணியுமா போது சரண்டர் தெம் செல்ஸ் அட் யுவர் லோட்டஸ் ஃபீட் போற்றியாம் வந்தும் புகழ்ந்தேல் ஒரு எம்பாவை அண்ட் நவு டுடே வி ஹாவ் கம் டு சிங் இன் ப்ரைஸ் ஆஃப் யூ வி வி ஆர் சிங்கிங் ஆல் த பாசுரன்ஸ் ஃபார் யூ த ஹெம்ஸ் அண்ட் வி ஆர் சிங்கிங் இன் ப்ரைஸ் ஆஃப் யூ ஸோ ஒன் டவுட் அண்ட் ஆர்ட் கெட்ஸ் ஓவர் ஹியர் யூ நோ டஸ் லார்ட் விஷ்ணு மகாவிஷ்ணு show his uh, divine qualities in every avatar she keeps on questioning this particular thing in, in at every place right so if we see the jatayu moksham so jatayu is uh, blessed with heaven right i mean the moksham by lord rama when he is i mean uh, we know that uh, story of him being defeated by ravana while uh, ravana abducted sita so you give moksham to you know jatayu can a normal person do that and secondly when uh, the army of uh, sugriva uh, they reached danushkodi right along with rama lakshmana hanuman everyone so when they couldn't find the path ahead so what did rama do he actually directed all the arrows to the north west there was one island with full of demons and he destroyed the demons defeated all the demons there and secondly he was uh, very angry and he directed his astram towards the uh, samudra raja Uh, you know one question anda makes here is you you instead of directing all the arrows you know to the samudra raja or to that another island you could have done it directly to lanka and you could have banished lanka immediately right so why 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 did you suppress your divine qualities you know the uh, argues an act to emphasize that you were indeed a human or it is sort of ridiculous right so all these are uh i would say even some interesting uh, facts that we can also think of so we are we you know she is saying potriyam vandu pohandelo rempavai so even if you say you are human i am human i am not showing your divine qualities we are here to praise your divine qualities because we recognize that you are indeed the supreme uh, lord who is uh, you know ruling this world or ru- ruling us so that for that sense is what i just quoted this particular story one more thing that i would like to highlight here is that we know that lord krishna is very dear to andar and she will not miss to you know uh, highlight or bring in any of his stories in her pasurams and also nandagopala her father in law she does not fail to celebrate him but one more thing that we have to observe is in most of the pasurams as well how she celebrates the acharya uh, uh, the greatness of the acharya right so we saw how the previous pasuram uh, uh, அந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் பாசுரம் முப்பத்து மூவர் அமரருக்கு முன் சென்று கப்பம் தவிர்க்கும் கலியே துயிலழாய் அண்ட் 
and and also in undu madha kalitru nodada tholvali and so all these pasurams we see how uh, you know acharya perume uh, we can say or the, the greatness of the acharya is actually highlighted so similarly here uh the greatness of the acharya is highlighted in such that that he is the one who does not see any disparity amongst uh his students right so the same is uh, we can see through the story of dronacharya so he was a vishwaguru he was a mahaguru but since he saw the disparity between uh, you know arjuna to help arjuna of course like he got that guru dakshina from ekalavya and ekalavya uh, could not become uh, a great warrior uh, he stopped uh, ekalavya from becoming one uh that story we know so because of that again dronacharya had to you know pay for the evil deeds that evil thoughts that he had during that time so of course he had uh he was defeated badly in uh, in the in the battlefield of kurukshetra by his very own students so that's what it means so what makes a guru a great guru a maha guru or a vishwa guru is that you have to you know uh, you should not see any disparity amongst uh, your students and uh, you should uh, give education to everyone with uh, uh, equality in mind of course dissipate knowledge equally to everyone so that is uh, one of the crux of this uh, tirupave that i should say so with that uh, information with that thought let's end uh, this episode i hope you'll all be waiting for the next episodes so until then stay tuned and signing off for today shividya lakshmi narayanan bye everyone